Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Harmon. Today here I'm joined once again with my cousin Gus from Fish and Fly with Gus. He's currently behind the camera right now. But uh, we're here in Everett, Washington, and this is the city and the site of uh, the tragedy that we're covering today. Two men were killed at a house party right down the road from the cemetery uh, where he's actually buried. So in this video, uh, we're gonna show you a cemetery uh, and the grave of, of one of the victims who passed away and then go to the actual house uh, where the shooting took place. The men who were killed were Jesse Stoner and Jason Thompson. So on the evening of May 30th, 2000, 18 year old Dennis Cram and his father Dale um, both were kind of expecting some people to show up, um, some adversaries of Dennis's um, and Dennis was expecting them all to show up with guns and other weapons and so in, in preparation for that Dennis's father Dale ended up stashing a bunch of different guns all around the front yard to kind of help give his son some protection I guess in case that these uh, adversaries show up uh, with some weapons however Jason Thompson and Jesse Stoner again 18 um, they did show up with some other people but they didn't bring any weapons or guns. Um, I think they were just kind of coming there, uh, you know, without any weapons to, you know, to show that they weren't there to really try to fight or anything. However, a big fight did break out in the front yard uh, when uh, one of the guys who showed up at the house, he found one of the stashed guns and he ended up firing the gun in the air, uh, probably to kind of break up the fight. And uh, it did work as when people heard the gunshots they a lot of them started dispersing and running away however another of the guys who showed up he found a different stashed gun and he ended up pointing the gun at Dennis's father Dale who was also there in the front yard kind of seeing what was going on and uh, during all that Jason Thompson and Jesse Stoner who were hanging out in the back seat of a car that was in the front yard they both took off out of the out of the car to try to escape because they didn't know what was going on. And during that, Dennis ended up firing his rifle and ended up shooting and killing both Jason Thompson and Jesse Stoner um, as they fled. Dennis Cram actually ended up testifying that it was self-defense. He was actually trying to kind of shoot at um, the other guy who was, uh, you know, pointing the gun at his father. The jurors, of course, didn't buy that testimony. Um, they ended up finding him guilty of two counts of first degree murder. Um, he received 30 years per murder and so he basically received a 60 year sentence. However, however with some good time and all that it's possible that Dennis Cram may not serve the full 60 years. Um, so Jesse Stoner, um, he actually was cremated and so of course I wasn't able to, you know, go visit like a gravesite of his. Um, but Jason Thompson was buried and so we're actually here at the Cypress Lawn Memorial Park and Cemetery here in Everett, Washington. Only about maybe five minutes away from uh, where the shooting took place where, you know, both Jason and Jesse were killed. His headstone is just... Um, really, really well done. Uh, just a tragic thing. Again, we're gonna go visit Dennis's house where the, the shooting took place.
Uh, so we're at uh, 115 108th Street Southwest and this is the home of Dennis Cram and his father Dale. Um, this is exactly where the shooting took place where Jason and Jesse were both killed in the front yard of the house. And uh, I read up some more articles on Jason and Jesse and I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little background on them. Um, again, it doesn't give much details about their lives, but just a little bit, so I thought I would share it. Um, but it says that Jason Thompson uh, was six foot four, 280 pounds, and he was an athlete. And it just says that, um, I guess his mom died when he was like an infant, and so like his dad kind of raised him uh, it sounds like on his own. So Jesse Stoner, um, from what I read, it sounds like he was kind of like the class clown, kind of the life of the party kind of guy. And it uh, sounds like he wanted to be a fireman. Again, a couple articles kind of give contradictory statements. Um, the one article stated that both were hanging out in the car, in the back seat, um, you know, in front of the house. And it says that they ran, got out of the car and ran when they heard the gunshots and were shot and killed while they were running. A different article stated that they were just sitting inside the car and Dennis shot through like the window and killed both of them. So again, uh, sometimes different articles give different statements, but uh, either way, they were both shot and killed in the front yard of, of Dennis's house. Since Dennis's uh, front yard uh, looks pretty small, I'm just guessing that maybe like the big fighting going on, it could have spilled out into, you know, across the street into the, the elementary school parking lot. Um, just a thought. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the front yard of Dennis's house is, is quite small, so it is interesting that, you know, they would have had a huge gathering of people kind of getting there to try to fight each other. Either way, Dennis's dad, Dale, stashed guns kind of all around the front yard there. Again, I feel like that was just a terrible idea. Um, they probably shouldn't have uh, kind of arranged this fight uh, to begin with, to be honest, but his dad shouldn't have stashed guns around the outside of the house. Because I feel like that all that did was just amp up the fight and turn it into a, a gunfight. It, it all it did was just lead to two innocent men to lose their lives. Just want to say I really appreciate you all who watch my videos. You guys who constantly watch my videos are my big supporters and I love you guys. Um, once again, if you're new around here, my name is Harmon. I'm joined again with my cousin Joel from Fish and Fly with Gus. Go check him out and subscribe. And uh, until next time, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.